Hi everyone. Again, thank you so much for all the questions that you've sent in asking me to make videos on. Someone asked me to speak about my grandfather, the Sardar Iqbal Ali Shah, my father's father. I've spoken about him before and I've written about him too. I hardly knew him because I was born in 1966 and he died in 1969 in Tangier, Morocco. He had gone to live in Morocco because his wife had died, my grandmother, who we knew as Bobo. She had died in 1960 and he was utterly bereft. My mother commented to me once that it was almost as if the stars had fallen out of his sky and he was unable to exist. He had the idea of going to live in a place where he had never been with his wife, Bobo. And so he'd have no memories that would cause him sadness and sorrow, pain. And so he went to live in Morocco. Firstly, he went down to Agadir because there had been an earthquake there in 1960. And then he moved to Rabat, the capital. And after that, he moved up to Tangier, where he lived in a glorious little villa called Villa Calpe. It's on Rue de la Plage. And his, his life ended outside Villa Calpe, which is now a guest house. At 71 Rue de la Plage, he was trying to open the iron door with his key and it always jammed and it was always hard. And a Coca-Cola truck reversed and it hit him and he was knocked down and killed. In the years that he lived in Tangier, he became this enigmatic figure. He was known to all kinds of people, to the Hollywood jet set, people like Cary Grant and his great friend, James Coburn, the massively famous actor in the 1960s, who was in movies like The Great Escape. He was befriended by Timothy Leary of LSD fame and of, by Barbara Hutton and Mohammed Rabet and Paul Bowles and all kinds of other characters who had been blown to Tangier's shores in that extraordinary, heady, cultural mix of a time. I really wish I had known my grandfather properly. It's a life that has inspired me. What I love about his life is that he used his vocation as an author as a kind of passport. He had no problem in traipsing up to anyone, whether it's, it was a king or a president or someone in a shanty town. And he lived this full bandwidth, this full spectrum of life that I'm obsessed about. The way I see it, our lives are almost like, you know, the bandwidth of an old radio where we turn to the dial most people are tuned into a small frequency or a single frequency. But my grandfather, the Sardar Iqbal Ali Shah, embraced the entire bandwidth. And to me, that is the greatest accomplishment of a life. It's the greatest um, inspiration. It's just astonishing. And um, on nights when I can't sleep, I imagine him on his travels. And I imagine me watching him, whether it was in the deserts of Saudi Arabia or in the cafes of Buenos Aires just after the war or anywhere else. And I like to imagine that I could have gone up to him and known him and chatted with him. And I also like the idea that he'd be proud of me and the work that I've done because it was completely inspired by him.